Earth-6 is the home of the Just Imagine Justice League created by the amazing pioneer of Marvel Comics, Stan Lee. Stan Lee teamed up with some of the greatest artists of the comic book industry to illustrate his version of DC's greatest heroes. He provided different origins, different behaviors, different capabilities, and even different identities of these characters, engendering a fresh take of the DC Universe. Welcome to DC Nez, and today let's meet the Just Imagine DC heroes created by Stan Lee for Earth 6. While DC Comics and Marvel Comics have a decades-old conflict that has been both severe and very friendly on many instances, Stan Lee, the major icon and visionary of Marvel characters, did the unconceivable by working with DC Comics on a sequence of loosely associated one-shot stories of famous DC characters through certain reimagined versions. In his cover letter on each of the comics, he stated that his intention is to provide a heartfelt tribute to the talented writers and artists of DC. Together with some of the famous artists in comics such as Michael Uslan, John Buscema, Kevin Maguire, John Byrne, Jerry Ordway, and Jim Lee among others, Stan Lee reinvented the Justice League and formed Earth-6. First is Maria Mendoza from Stan Lee's Just Imagine Wonder Woman. Stan Lee's Wonder Woman is entirely different. She is chosen by the sun god of the ancient Incan civilization of Titicaca, Peru, and considered to be the protectress of Earth. Instead of coming from a Greek heritage, Maria Mendoza comes from a Mesoamerican origin. Cusco, an ancient city in Peru, was created by Manco Capac, son of the Incan sun god, through his golden staff. He protected his followers from any form of evil and sank his golden staff deep beneath the earth. Many centuries later, Armando Goites plundered the relics of Cusco to find the mythological runes that would give him immense powers. Goites controls the law and the police officers of the nearby village of Santa Atalaya through his financial influence. When Maria was born, her mother was killed by bandits and his father, who was still a farmer, was abused by corrupt police officials. His father vowed to never become a victim again, so when the time came that he became the town judge, he allied himself to the corrupt manipulations of Goites to protect Maria and live a decent life. One of Guitez's archaeologists is Steve Trevor, who Maria Mendoza met while trying to investigate the relic site of Cusco. Steve sent two of the most potent runes to his colleagues in Los Angeles to hide it. Maria Mendoza is the only one who had the guts to stand against Guitez, and she is always outspoken of her hatred towards Guitez, yet Guitez has always targeted her to become his lover. When Maria's father tried to defend the farmers against Guitez, Guitez killed him and this was witnessed by Maria. When Maria tried to escape, she was helped by Steve Trevor and they went to the excavation sites of the runes. On the site, Steve dropped one of the runes allowing for the monster spirits to escape and transfer to Guitez. Guitez got hold of the other magical runes and absorbed its demonic powers. Guitez then became a powerful monster. Meanwhile, on that same site, Maria also found the golden staff of Manco Capac. The staff chose her and transformed her into Wonder Woman. With the powers of the Sun God, Maria achieved many skills and abilities that allowed her to defeat Guitez. This Wonder Woman has an eagle insignia and can transform the golden staff into a golden lasso or a crystal ball and see the future. Her godlike powers grant her the capability to make her imaginations into reality. But she usually utilizes her powers for super strength, flight, and golden energy manipulation. The staff also becomes a bracelet for easy activation of her powers at will. And it can also summon or teleport the members of the Justice League. This Wonder Woman is also a reporter for the National Exposer and she also acted as the leader of this Earth's Justice League. Second is Salden from Just Imagine Superman. Salden is a hot-headed police officer or lawbringer from the faraway planet of Krypton. His squad are all genetically altered, making him the smallest member in the team, but he never let his size hinder him from becoming one of the best squad men in their planet. Gorok, one of the villains he sent to prison, escaped and killed his wife. Then, Gorok went to the launch pad of the space-time bender ship to escape the planet. Salden caught up with him and together they were transported to Earth and got separated. When he crashed in the ocean, he came across a green part of the water while he swam towards shore. Salden then discovered that the gravity on Earth is 100 times weaker than in his planet. He then realized that he is much stronger, lighter, and faster in this planet. 
he also has telescopic vision because the atmosphere is very thin. To earn money, Salden worked in a circus and when asked about his name, he gave Clark Kent after the ice cream truck that passed by. Because of his circus work, Lois Lane, a talent agent, offered to make publicity gimmicks with Salden and called him Superman. Meanwhile, Gorok also discovered his powers and was treated as a god at a different part of the Pacific. Eventually, Gorok was discovered by Reverend Dark and used him to kidnap the Chinese president to instigate a war between the US and China. The kidnapping led to Superman battling Gorok, but Superman was able to defeat Gorok and save the president. Third is the Green Lantern. Leonard Lewis is a professor of archaeology at the Los Angeles University, and he has been studying the notion of the Tree of Life that has been mentioned in ancient scriptures such as in the Bible and the Kabbalah. The Danes refer to it as Yggdrasil, and he strongly believes he can find its traces. He then went to Africa to find more information about this. However, in Africa, he met Craig Krogor who was working for a malevolent being called Reverend Dark, who was also searching for the Tree of Life to obtain its powers. On the site of the tree, Krogor shot Professor Lewis and Lewis sank into the green mud on the site. Yggdrasil, the Tree of Life, found him and used its tendrils to provide healing juices to Lewis. Yggdrasil is an immortal being that has protected mankind since the beginning of life. Lewis was healed and because of his pure spirit and courageous heart, the tree chose him and gave him the life force that made him become the Green Lantern. Lewis later tested his powers but soon realized that his power runs like a battery that wears out when used frequently. His green power can create solid-like constructs and can also travel like radio waves or electric currents and he used it to communicate with the other heroes. He faced Krogor once more but Krogor was killed remotely by Reverend Dark through his magic. Fourth is The Flash Mary Maxwell aka The Flash is a college student and a daughter of a scientist who is a DNA expert and was previously a member of Stealth a secret organization researching about time travel. Mary's father was finding a way on how to alter the DNA of stealth agents so they can withstand the pressure of time traveling. The leader of stealth is Andrea Zakara. When Mary's father quit stealth, he was hunted down by Zakara's agents. On one of their escapes, Mary fell into a sea with green water and green fog. Her skin absorbed some of the green matter and it made her sick for many days. Her father tried many medications until he tried the DNA of a hummingbird. The hummingbird DNA mixed with the green matter in her body gave her the power of super speed. Unfortunately, her father was also killed when she discovered her powers. Upon testing her powers, she realized she has accelerated healing and she has the capability of traveling back in time. Meanwhile, Stealth was able to finish a time-traveling gadget and they were successful in sending their strongest agent one week back in time. However, when Zakara went too far back in time and returned, she started to age so fast and died. Fifth is Batman. Wayne Williams is a young African-American working in a local mini store. His father was a cop who was gunned down in their neighborhood while on duty. While Wayne was working at the store, Hans, a major thug in their area, was targeted by some gunmen. Wayne tried to save the woman who was with Hans, but unfortunately, Hans became jealous and fabricated an armed robbery in their mini store, framing Wayne as one of the perpetrators. Wayne's boss implicated him and he was sent to prison. In prison, he was still bullied and when he tried to save an old man from one of the bullies, he made friends with the other inmates. These inmates trained him on how to build muscles and become a powerhouse. His adjacent cellmate, the old man he saved, was actually a doctor of physics named Frederick Grant. When some of the prisoners tried to escape and tried to hurt the warden, Wayne defended the warden. Because of this act, Wayne got pardoned and was released from prison. To earn some money from his revenge against Hans, he became a wrestler while wearing a full bat costume to hide his real identity. In his career, he became really famous and very wealthy. He sought his friend from prison, Frederick Grant, to help him create a costume he can use for crime fighting that included night vision lenses, electronic sensors, Kevlar suit, and cape that act like bat wings. He then went back to hands and killed him. 
During the fight with Crisis, Batman used Wonder Woman's staff to summon all of the allies of the heroes. 6 is Aquaman Ramon Raymond is a very passionate environmentalist who studies and experiments about marine life on a daily basis. He even lives on a boat. On one of his experiments, he injected himself with the DNA of dolphins. Moments later, while swimming away from a bull shark, he came across a greenish part of the sea, which is impacted by the green mist of the tree of life like what happened with Superman and Flash. The green water enveloped him and transformed him into Aquaman. As Aquaman, he can turn his body into pure water form anytime he wants and he now possesses aquakinesis. He can shoot water jets that he can adjust the pressure to cut through metal. He can create a wide heavy spray that can blind enemies. He can make some parts of his body solid and bullets can pass through him without hurting him. Seventh is Catwoman. Joni Jordan is a daughter of a police inspector and she is a fashion model who thinks her job is very shallow and empty. One night, she has a scheduled photo shoot at the 5th Federal Bank and some goons planning a bank robbery visited her to force her to be their access to the bank. Her cat Ebony saved her but they were both struck by a green lightning formed by the green mist from the Tree of Life. This lightning gave her many capabilities, similar to a cat such as enhanced senses where she is very much alert with all the nerves in her body tingling with energy, enhanced vision where she can see in the dark clearly, protruded claws where she can extend her fingernails and cut through walls and armors, and enhanced speed where she can dodge bullets and swiftly react with outstanding reflexes. She can also leap from one building to another with ease and she formed a psychic connection with her cat. After using her new capabilities to thwart a group of would-be kidnappers, Joni designed her costume and became one of the new super-powered crime fighters and was called Catwoman. She thought her father would be happy for her, but her father did not like the idea of super-powered individuals doing police work as vigilantes, so she hid the secret from him. When the kidnappers came back, she used her skills against them and foiled the robbery. Then she found their master, the Flesh Crawler, and used her claws and destroyed him. 8 is Shazam Robert Rogers is a mild-mannered Interpol agent who was assigned in India together with a black belter agent, Carl Norrell, to find a megalomaniac villain, Gung Ha Khan, who invented a shrink ray that threatens to shrink all of the Americans. During their search, they saw an old fakir displaying his magic tricks on the street but was later attacked by some street thugs wanting to know his tricks. Robert and Carla try to defend him but his injuries are too fatal. On his deathbed, the dying fakir transferred to Robert the power of Shazam. During the ancient times, Morgana Le Fay tried to attack Merlin. Merlin won and turned Morgana into a tree. However, Merlin is very much aware of Morgana's talent and immortality and he knew that Morgana will resurface once more in the future. So, he created a magical being that can be transferred by his followers through generations to fight Morgana in the future. And that being is Shazam. The word Shazam turns Robert Rogers into a monstrous being with amazing strength. Shazam is a big hairy red fang creature with a necklace of bones. He has powerful draconian wings and superhuman durability. Uttering the word Shazam again will turn him back into his human form. Ninth is the Sandman. Larry Wilton is the defender from the dark dimension of Dreamworld and he was chosen to defeat Dreamlord. When he was young, Larry Wilton was a sickly child and he spent most of his life bedridden. His only happiness came from his mother reading to him different fantasy books and science fictions. When he is sleeping, he would always dream about an evil being trying to attack him and a fairy named Melana who is always saving him. When he grew up, the dreams lessened and he became stronger. Wanting to do more adventures, he turned to bodybuilding and enrolled in MIT to become a pilot. He was a very good pilot that he was soon recruited to become an astronaut. One day, a strange illness has befallen the country and it's called a sleeping death where people would just suddenly fall asleep and turn purple. At the same time, a strange mist appeared on space which they believed to be connected to the sleeping death. NASA sent a mission team to investigate which was headed by Larry. However, the spacecraft was hijacked by a follower of Morgana and Larry was left in the outer space alone. 
When he was about to lose his remaining oxygen, he passed through the green mist and it teleported his astral self to dream world. He was assaulted by the Thief of Souls but he was saved by Milana once more and transformed him into Sandman. Larry as the Sandman can teleport in and out of dream world by chanting a spell. In his gauntlet is a gem that contains the glowing sands of dream world which is the source of his mystic power that he can use to vanish demons. He has the power to make himself intangible and he can melt people with his touch. He can also see demons and souls and he can create sandstorms. With his powers, he defeated the Dream Lord and transported the souls of the victims of the Sleeping Death back to Earth. Back on Earth, he also defeated Reverend Dark. Tent is Robin. Robin was a young orphan who became a professional martial artist and became a pawn for Reverend Dark to attack Batman. When he was born, Robin was left on the doorstep of an orphanage and was raised there. He was given the name of Robin after the bird that would always stay on his crib. When he was 2 years old, he immediately learned how to walk and talk. As a kid, he would always stay alone and he never got adapted. During his adolescent years, he became obsessed in bodybuilding and learned martial arts. When he got out of the orphanage, he became a martial arts instructor and he found a note from the Church of Eternal Enlightenment that they can help him find his parents. Reverend Dark easily manipulated him and imbued him with some powers to do his bidding of killing Batman. But Batman opened his eyes about Dark's manipulations. Later, during the League's fight with Crisis, Robin betrayed the League and used Sandman's gem to send Superman back to Krypton. He then took Sandman's gem and gave it to Crisis. Crisis then gave him the amulet of Ranegar that gave Robin more power. When Robin found one of the runes from Peru, it turned him into Hawkman. Despite being an ally of Crisis, Green Lantern through Yggdrasil captured Hawkman who is Robin and turned him into the Atom. Then Atom became an extremely powerful being that finally destroyed Crisis. This Atom then joined the Justice League. Lastly is the astounding villain Reverend Dominic Dark. Reverend Dark has expansive capacities of manipulation and he is the leader of the Church of Eternal Empowerment. He has many formidable followers such as Morgana Le Fay and Robin. He can create passageways to teleport anyone, he can turn anything to smithereens with a single thought, and he can imbue anyone with additional powers. His ultimate plan was to open an interdimensional portal to bring forth Crisis, a villain with limitless power who can easily defeat the whole Justice League. Other characters in Earth-6 are Phantom Stranger, also known as Adam Strange, one of the sons of Reverend Dark and Morgana, Crisis, a supervillain fought by the JLA who wears the five Dreamworld Sapphires, and the Doom Patrol, Blockbuster, Parasite, and Deathstroke who are also Reverend Dark's followers. So there you have it. Many have said that Earth-6 is the worst of the multiverse and the cheesiest rendition of the origins of the Justice League heroes. Do you agree to this or do you want a continuation of the exploits of this alternate universe? Place down your comments below and hit subscribe!